Please provide a brief background of yourself. Oh, hi there. And uh, e auctions, yes, they've been around since 500 BC. Uh, back in Babylon, it was considered, considered illegal to allow a door to be sold outside of the auction method. And, and the Roman Empire, often the spoils of war were auctioned. And uh, not to mention the old tavern auctions where you had a candle which burned down and you had to place bids uh, before the candle kind of splattered out. If we fast forward to a point uh, a bit nearer our time, back in the 1990s, you had the emergence of internet based online auction tools, and in 1995, you had free markets who did uh, managed auctions where people helping you run auctions, and you had eBay, obviously. Um, and so they've been around really um, on the online uh, method for the last 20 years or so. Uh, and now, obviously, you have lots of different types of online tools out there. Uh, I mean, in, in essence, what are e-auctions? They're a method to negotiate quickly uh, with a large number of participants. And that's really what, what auctions are. Yeah, so in terms of the background to our sales market dojo, we're really built by a bunch of engineers and physicists. Uh, three of us co-founded the company. We realized a parallel shift in the market from people um, wanting to bring e-sourcing and e-auctions in-house um, and so we developed Market Dojo. We've had three grants for innovation from the government and now we have a full suite of e-sourcing tools to do ERFXs, ERFQs, e-auctions as well as uh, looking at innovation and category strategy and now we're also developing a supplier information management module which is an onboarding tool. So we're really focusing on e-sourcing rather than P to P, because we think there's, there's quite a distinction between an operational and strategic side. I mean, essentially, we help procurement people work more effectively by providing online tools. Uh, and it's an absolute pleasure to uh, be here today and be able to speak a bit about e auctions, which is where we started. How can they be utilized and who can benefit from e auctions? I mean, auctions can be used uh, in, a, in a forward sense when you're selling something and the price goes up and also in a reverse fashion uh, where the price goes down uh, and you're looking to buy something. Uh, in terms of the benefits, you have benefits for the buyers obviously or all the sellers in terms of being able to negotiate very rapidly. Uh, also you have a lot of benefits for the suppliers because it's an open, honest and transparent process uh, and recent research by the University of the West of England actually shows that auctions can help strengthen relationships. Where have you seen success? Well, we've seen success over a, a wide variety of industries, large and small companies, large and small tenders. And what we find is the common uh, piece to success tends to be uh, the people running the event being very proactive and be, being very professional uh, and using the right approach. Uh, to make a, a reverse auction success, for example, you need to make sure you have the right definition of what you're buying, make sure that the SLAs are tied down, and also you need to have the right level of market liquidity, in other words, suppliers who are not just able to bid, but willing to bid. Uh, and it's making sure you have that professional approach ensures success. And also, it doesn't have to be just price, it could be a weighted event to take part or take account of non price criteria. Um, and also you can have buyer's choice, so after the event itself, you can actually bring the suppliers in for a chat. So it doesn't have to be uh, price focused. But the main point of it is, is success is driven by professionalism. And I think initially when e-auctions were being brought in-house, uh, there was a lack of skills and maybe some auctions weren't run so well and this could create some uh, issues out there. Um, but now we're seeing a lot of uptake and a lot of professionalism in the market which helps ensure success. Thank you very much.